ಶ್ರೀಶೈಲೇಷದಯಾಪಾತ್ರೀಭಕ್ತಿಗುಣಾರ್ಣವೀಂದ್ರ ಪ್ರವಣ ವಂದೇ ರಮ್ಯಜಾತರ ಮುನಿ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ರಾಮಾನುಜಾಯ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ವರವರ ಮುನೆಯೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಬಾಲದನ್ವಿ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಬೈ ದ ಇಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಅನುಗ್ರಹ ಆಫ್ ಎಂ ಪೆರುಮಾನ್ ಪಿರಾಟಿ ಆಳ್ವಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಪೂರ್ವಾಚಾರ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಶಬ್ದ ಯಥಾಮತಿ ಯಥಾಶಕ್ತಿ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂ ಪೆರುಮಾನ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಬಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಡಿಯೋಂಗಲ್ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಇಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಸಪೋರ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ ವಿಶರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯೋರ್ ವಾರ್ಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಮೆಸೇಜಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ಕರೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಮೋರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕೈಂಕರ್ಯಂ ಅಟ್ ದ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ನಾವ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂ ಪೆರುಮಾನ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ವಿ ನೋ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಎಂ ಪೆರುಮಾನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ತುರುಣಾಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ನೋ ನಾರಾಹ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾನ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೆಫ್ಯೂಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ನಾರಾಹ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ರಿಸೈಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ನಾರಾಹ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ಪೆರುಮಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೆಫ್ಯೂಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ and he is able to exert his will on all these naraha and he is their sustainer indweller controller and protector which implies he also owns them isn't it so it is nothing other than these naraha becomes his property or wealth and he becomes the owner to signify this relationship is why we call yam peruman as swami swam means property or wealth and the person who owns the property or the wealth becomes swami and so what is the wealth it is nothing other than the naraha and who is the swami it is nothing other than the yam peruman based on the nature of these living and non living entities they are broadly classified into two categories called as the nitya vibhuti and the leela vibhuti and yam peruman is the owner of both these kind of properties and hence he gets the thirunamam ubhaya vibhuti nath in today's episode we will be seeing what is this nitya vibhuti and leela vibhuti where they are placed and their nature so now let's start with the term nitya vibhuti as the name suggest nityam means permanent vibhuti means wealth so the permanent wealth of yam peruman is nitya vibhuti which is nothing other than the shri vaikuntham or the paramapadam on the other hand leela means sports or play and vibhuti means wealth so any wealth which is used for yam peruman's entertainment becomes the leela vibhuti so nitya vibhuti is more like yam peruman's official residence whereas leela vibhuti that is this very material world that we are in is where yam peruman performs his pastimes or leelas so when i say material world immediately a question pops up does it mean this material world is filled with maya is it illusionary is it unreal how can yam peruman's creation be untrue it can be called maya not because that it is unreal due to the fact that it gives us and leaves us with a sense of wonderment we see this fantastic nature around us we are able to see it feel it perceive it we ourselves go through emotions which all seems to be very real and hence this material world is very much true and real but but it is temporary like an air bubble and hence nitya vibhuti is permanent and leela vibhuti though real it is temporary and where are they located some people do ask shri vaikuntham is it actually a physical place or is it a state of mind as our purvacharya say it is indeed a physical place just because something is intangible and invisible doesn't mean it doesn't exist right when the hubble telescope revealed those distant galaxies and celestial bodies was it not a proof that ex- existence can transcend our immediate perceptions so, so shri vaikuntham does exist but where is it we can relatively think through it from where we live in so this is the bhulokam that is the bhumi 
where we live in but this earth is kind of sandwiched between 14 worlds let's call them as the multiverse the top going up to satyalokam where lord brahma resides and the bottom going all the way up to narakam and this 14 world like a sandwich is encapsulated in a sphere like an oval egg shell called as the andakatakam and this is one andakatakam there are infinite such andakatakams which are again wrapped enveloped by blankets of seven layers of water called as the avarana jalam above this avarana jalam runs a river called as the viraja nadi anything that is below the viraja without a lower boundary becomes the leela vibhuti and anything that is above the viraja river without an upper limit becomes the nitya vibhuti Though we don't have the exact size, relatively it is said that Nitya Vibhuti is three times the size of Leela Vibhuti and hence it gets the Trinamam Tripath Vibhuti. We also call it as Paramapadam because Para means that is exceeding or transcending, that is boundless, limitless and hence it, it is Paramapadam. So now we know what it is and where they are located. Let's take a quick look into their nature. Nitya Vibhuti, as the name suggests, it's permanent, which means it's not subjected to any change. Whereas the Leela Vibhuti is where the Shrishti, Stiti and the Samharam happens. So Yemperuman creates this at his will and at the time of Pralayam, he absorbs them back. In Nitya Vibhuti, the Jeevatmas do not have hunger. That's why they are called as Vigatsya. Apipasaha, they are free from thirst. Vijaraha, they are unaffected by old age. Vimrityuhu, which is they are imperishable, there is no concept of birth and death. But if we take this Leela Vibhuti, as Arvar says, it's undiye udaye, we run behind eating and sleeping, kana, pina, sona, aur marna. That's what happens in the Leela Vibhuti. In Nitya Vibhuti, the Atmas are Vishokaha, which means they are free from sorrow because they are Apahata Papma, which means they are unaffected by the Sukham and the Dukham. On the contrary, in Leela Vibhuti, we operate based on Karma. In Nitya Vibhuti, the Atmas are Satya Kamaha, which means they are lover of truth and Satya Sankalpaha, which means the one who wills the truth. Again, as the exact opposite in this world, people do commit sin. It is filled with Aparada. Why is this sharp contrast? between these two Vibhutis? Well, it's the designer's will, Yemperuman's will, who else can question that? But just to say, this is because in Nitya Vibhuti, the land of perpetual splendor, they do not have any connection to the nature, aprakritam we say. That is, they operate in the Shuddha Sattva mode. Whereas in Leela Vibhuti, we all have Prakriti Sammandam, which means the Atma here is trapped in the Panchabhuta Achetana body. And hence, we operate in Sattva, Rajo and Tama modes. So when we operate in Sattva mode, we think about Yem Piruman, learn Divya Prabandham, listen to Upanyasam. When Rajo mode takes over, we go on with our mundane task or go for a movie with our friends. And when the Thamogunam takes over, we go back to sleeping. They have lost their true Swarupam and the knowledge also diminishes. Whereas in Nitya Vibhuti, because there is no such trapping, they glow blemishlessly and the Atma shines in its full splendor and full knowledge. So now we have seen what is this, where they are located, and the nature of it. Who resides in those vibhutis? If we take this Leela vibhuti, that is our world, it is nothing other than the samsaris. There is a wrong connotation that samsaris means those who are married. That's not true. A samsari is a one who was stuck in this cycle of birth and death. Starting from Brahma, Indra, Chandra, celestial beings, Asuras, why even a sannyasi technically is actually a samsari. But in Nitya Vibhuti, it is Nitya Suris and Muktatma who occupy there. So Nitya Suris are like the eternal heroes who have not even stepped into samsara even once. And Muktatmas are the Atmas who were in Leela Vibhuti like us, but by the costless mercy of Yem Peruman were liberated and they became the Muktatmas in the Nitya Vibhuti. These Nitya Suris and Muktatmas, they eternally serve Yem Peruman because there is no dimension of time or space or external energy. There is no disturbance. They don't have to think about what to do next and hence they constantly, constantly serve Yem Peruman. But on the other hand, in Leela Vibhuti, we samsaris are constantly, constantly trying so hard to stray away from Yem Peruman, isn't it? As Arvar says, 
பேரே எனக்கு யாவரும் பேரே ஹி இஸ் திங்கிங் வியர் ஆல் வியர்ஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆழ்வார் குட் நாட் திங்க் ஆஃப் எனிபடி அதர் தேன் எம் பெருமான் அண்ட் வி ஆர் ஏபிள் டு திங்க் எவ்ரி திங் அதர் தேன் எம் பெருமான் நாட் ஒன்லி ஆழ்வார் வரீஸ் அபவுட் அஸ் ஈவன் எம் பெருமான் இஸ் கான்ஸ்டன்ட்லி வரீட் அபவுட் அஸ் ஹவு இஸ் தேட் லெட்ஸ் டேக் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் தேர் இஸ் அ வெரி லவ்விங் அண்ட் கைண்ட் டேட் and he has all his children and grandchildren with him but there is this one son who wanted to make money and he traveled to a foreign country and he's staying there and he's making money there so any time the dad is sitting down and eating or enjoying with his other children he constantly thinks about that one kid who is far away from him he would be thinking what is my son doing did he even have food or is he working constantly hope he hasn't fallen sick when am i going to see him next when can i bring him back to me so these are all the thoughts that would run in, in the dad's mind isn't it similarly do emperuman is a nitya vibhuti and constantly enjoying the service rendered by the nitya suris and muktatmas he doesn't seem satiated not because there is a lack of service but because thinking about our condition he is pitifully drawn towards the samsaris in the leela vibhuti swami pullai lokacharya says tripat vibhuti hile paripurna anubhavam nadava nirka adu undadu urukkata de dehe shantra பித்ருஹயம் ஹி இஸ் அவர் டேட் அண்ட் சோ ஹிஸ் ஹார்ட் இஸ் பிட்டிஃபுல்லி ட்ராண் டுவர்ட்ஸ் அஸ் திங்கிங் வென் இஸ் ஹீ கோயிங் டு கம் பேக் டு மீ வென் ஆர் ஆல் தீஸ் ஜீவாத்மா ஆல் தீஸ் சம்சாரிஸ் ஹூ ஆர் ஸ்டக் இன் திஸ் லீலா விபூதி கோயிங் டு கம் பேக் டு மீ அண்ட் ஹீ இஸ் வரீட் வாட் இஸ் தட் வீ நீட் டு டூ வீ டோன்ட் ஹாவ் டு டூ எனி திங் பிகாஸ் இட்ஸ் அப்பான் ஹிம் டு ஆக்சுவலி டேக் இஸ் பேக் டு ஹிம் அண்ட் தட்ஸ் வை டு ரிஸ்டோர் அஸ் அண்ட் டு ரிடீம் அஸ் அவர் வெரி கம்பேஷனேட் எம் பெருமான் கம்ஸ் டு திஸ் லீலா விபூதி அங்கு வைத்து இங்கு பிறந்தான் சேஸ் ஆழ்வார் ஹவு டிட் ஹி மேனிஃபெஸ்ட் லெட்ஸ் லுக் அட் தட் இன் அவர் நெக்ஸ்ட் எபிசோட் ஸ்ரீமதே ராமானுஜாய நமக சாது சனத்தை நலியும் கஞ்சனை சாதே பதற்க சாது சனத்தை நலியும் கஞ்சனை சாதே பதற்க ஆதியோதி ஊருவை அங்கு வை திங்கு பிறந்த ஆதியோதி ஊருவை அங்கு வை திங்கு பிறந்த வேத முதல் வனை பாடி வீதிகள் தோறும் துள்ளாதார் ஓதி உணர்ந்தவர் முன்னாக என் சவிப்பார் மணிசரே ஓதி உணர்ந்தவர் முன்னாக என் சவிப்பார் மணிசரே ஆழ்வார் திருவடிகளே சரணம்